So our patients come to us um, with a variety of management needs really, often um, symptom control for pain, nausea, reduced mobility. So when a patient is admitted to us, um, they're seen by a doctor um, and have a, a medical admission, we go through the, the needs of the patient and then also we, us nurses, we come in and we see from a nursing point of view what it is that they need, do they need help with um, personal care, um, mobilising, um, we make referrals for them for um, emotional support um, with our bereavement counsellors or with our psychologist, um, complementary therapy. Uh, in the complementary therapy unit we offer um, lots of relaxation. We do um, relaxation classes and we do one-to-one -one, um, interaction with the clients, uh, with the patients both on the ward um, and outpatients. Um, and on the day, day therapy unit, but um, each therapy is a, a, is a relaxation. I would do it with some lovely music in lovely rooms and at the bedside. We ask the patient what they would like, uh, what's best for them, and we, we, have, we do an assessment just to check it's okay for them to have that therapy. So if we can go in there and just make them feel a little bit more relaxed, um, it makes a big difference. I did hear that. Um, someone had said that the doctors can tell all the patients that have had a treatment because they're so relaxed when they go mm -hmm. to the bed so just to think that you do something nice. And then also you know we sit and we talk and we listen to the journey of the patient you know what's got them this far to here and what kind of input do they need. Um, we often find that when patients do arrive here um, quite quickly you know there seems to be quite a sense of relief um, from them, from the families, um, you know, the, the quality of care that, that's given here is, well, yeah, I work here, but, but I do think it's fantastic, you know, mm -hmm. nothing ever really seems to be too much, and if there's something extra that the patient needs, then we will try to achieve that for them. Mm -hmm. I'm a healthcare assistant, so I'm like an assistant to the nurses, so I help patients with... Um, the personal care, getting not getting dressed, having a wash, using the toilet, um, getting out into a wheelchair if they are doing. If somebody's um, illness has made that they can't, has meant that they can't do as much as usual, and I think they can't, they're not going to be able to get out of bed again because they're not able to stand. We've got the equipment to help them get out go out in the garden, go to the pub with their friends, um, still make it to occasions like birthday parties and um, family events that they thought they wouldn't be able to go to. We've had patients that haven't been able to have a full bath because they've not been able to get into a bath. Um, we've got a, a chair that lifts them into the bath and it's an electric bath that you can change height with so anybody can use it. Um, and that can help a lot with pain relief and things as well, as well as just feeling nicer. I don't think it's what people expect it to be. I think it's a lot nicer. I'm not just saying that because I work here. Yeah. It's a lot nicer. It's very calm. It's very homely. So there's, there's no really set routine here either. Um, visiting times we don't really have a set visiting time, patients are, are welcome to come and go with the families or the families are welcome to come, obviously they can stay over if needed. Um, pets are welcome to come in, it's lovely to see you know, little dogs running around or children running around. Um, and also um, the rooms are quite um, a lovely environment to be in, every room looks out into the garden, they've all got French doors, we can open the doors but we often we can move the beds so that the patients can look out of the windows or they can sit with the doors open looking out into the garden. Um, it can be quite a, a calm and lovely experience for them. We always try and go the extra mile for them and, and for the families as well, you know, it's it's the small things that make the difference. Sometimes it's the extra cup of tea and a little bit of cake or something like that. Um, you know, it's a, a lot, it can be a long time, a long, long day, long night for relatives sitting there with the loved ones and quite a vulnerable time for people as well so we do try to just offer that extra little bit of kindness um, and comfort for them when they come here.
Uh, well, we find that a lot of the families who sit by the bedside for a long period of time, um, they're very anxious and not feeling, they're not feeling very well. Um, so we'll try and give them a therapy if they're looking uh, very tired. Uh, they get referred from the nurse and staff as well if anybody's not so good. And we'll try and fit the families in as well. At this point in a person's life sometimes, and for the families, these are the things that they remember, these are the, the milestones, these are the memories that they make, the memories they want to keep hold of. And so it's really important that we get it right while they're here because they can always look back on that time and they'll always remember whether it was good or whether it was really bad. So I think here, you know, we really endeavour to try and get it right for them. Hi, my name is Karen. I've been here now for nearly four and a half weeks and the reason why I'm in here now is because I have cancer. That's why I'm here so they can keep me at, at, their eye on me mm. while giving me all the pills that I need. Yes. Yeah. Your family can come any time and you can wear your clothes but I've not done that this morning, this afternoon because this morning I was in a hell of a lot of pain. So today I decided to have a PJ day. <laughs> But uh, three or four days before I come in, he actually got a little puppy. Mm. So she's still allowed to come in and see me, which is lovely. So she's not forgot who I am. She wags her tail like crazy. Mm. <laughs> Hoping it's not too long before I can go home and start training her. Well, when I did come in here, I was really, really scared. But the staff, everybody, have been absolutely ace. Everything, even when you want to cry, they will come and sit with you and they'll give you a big cuddle and reassure you. If you're in pain, they'll run about until you get your pain. It's, they're absolutely lovely. There, there is no words you can say how good they are, how fantastic they are. There's not been a word made for how good these ladies are. It's not just the nurses, the doctors, even the food staff, everybody, wow. The receptionist, wow. Mm. It's like one big happy family. Really, really good. <laughs>